This is Mrs. D. I have a little something I want to talk to you about. I don't know if y'all remember about the newborn uh, babies. Well, this morning I'm going to talk about the newborn babies. And I have two. I have a boy and a girl. And this is what they look like. <laughs> this is Malik. Look at his hands. Hand look real. I don't know if y'all can see him all that good, but this is what he looked like. Let me put him down a little bit, but this is what he looked like. He don't want to sit up. And they are newborn babies, and these babies um, actually help people with um, problems they're going through, depression or whatever problems they're going maybe going through. And, um, I, well, I got mine just to decorate my bed, and I wanted a boy and a girl. I always wanted a boy. Not only I have two girls, um, and I have a grandson, and has some grand girls, but I wanted me a boy and a girl, so I decided to get a newborn baby. And with these babies, you can tell them how you want them. They have um, their hair, their hair, and what I do, I where did I forgot where where did I put it at? Well, I have some spray. It is only condition. It's only condition and water. My daughter um, um, make that for me, and she puts it in a um, she puts it in a bottle, a spray bottle, and I can um, spray the hair. And the hair actually is like out. Look at his feet. <laughs> his fat little feet. <laughs> and I just enjoy them. I, I love to dress them and get newborn babies. This one, he wear a, I forgot what he wear. I think he wear three months. I'm not sure. But my little girl, she wears a newborn. And this is the outfit that I got him on. <laughs> so I love to make my bed up real nice and just lay them up there. And he have a hat that I put on. Put him on his hat. And I love just dressing them for the winter. This is my boy. Now this is Malik. His name is Malik Dalberry. <laughs> and this is my little girl. And she asleep. So she stays asleep. Her little bracelet on. Shaking her little bracelet. But you know they want to forgive for um, children that's going to take care of them. And she have a little socks on and Look at her little feet. <laughs> Look at her little feet. Look at her legs. And I actually told the artist when she was um, making her, I told her how I wanted her. But look at her hair. This is her hair. And I can fix her hair any kind of way I want it. I can take it out and put bows up there. And, and her hand is balled up. See, some babies' are hands are balled up. But I like the way she did her hands. Sometimes she can... Suck a thumb. I really she don't want to do it, but sometimes I can put her thumb in her mouth and she can suck a thumb. And this is her outfit. But they are called newborn babies. A lot of, a lot of um, people um, use these newborn babies. Um, like you said, to help when they're going through um, uh, problems, and it helps them. Um, I, I got them because. I love just decorating them and decorating them and uh, putting the, um putting their clothes on them and I love doing their hair and I mean they people might think something wrong with you but there's nothing wrong with you because my husband love football I just love dolls I just love these dolls that I put on the bed and and I get newborn clothes from people that give their clothes you know the babies um. I outgrown their clothes and I asked them, can I get them? Can I buy them or whatever? Um, they have a little bottle. They don't drink, but they're just decoration, y'all. Don't ask me what's in here. I have no idea, but it do look like apple juice. And my daughter made this and she made it so it don't, you know, it don't come out. And I could just put it on the bed with her. Just like she got a bottle. And my leak have his pacifier. This is McKelly. Malik have his pacifier and she fixed him so that I could 
uh, give him a pacifier so I can just pop a pacifier in his mouth. Okay. But, and what they have, they have a magnet inside and the magnets on the pacifier and it'll stick right to their mouth and I put them on my bed and just, uh, hey, we got on blue, look, we got on blue. Well, I can put them on my bed and just enjoy looking at them um, when I put them on the bed. And you know what, with them newborn, uh, newborn babies, I don't have to worry about them crying, changing pampos. I don't have to worry about checking on them. <laughs> I can leave them, leave the house anytime I want to. So, but it just something to decorate my baby. So, I hope y'all enjoyed this. I don't know if anybody seen the newborn baby. So, if you have, just just, just um, send me a um, comment. Write a comment now if you've seen them or not. But you know they are very um, they are very popular. My daughter, my oldest daughter, have a lot of them. A lot of them. I didn't want a lot of them, but I just want, you know, everybody might think they uh, uh scary or whatever, but Malik eyes are open and Michaela eyes are not open, so I want them one sleep and one eyes open, so, you know, I just, that's just how I wanted them made, and I actually told her how I wanted my baby, I want the skin, you know, how I wanted the skin look, I wanted the fingernails, the look, I wanted her hair, I wanted... You know, not so long, and I wanted so I could manage it, and she did just exactly what I wanted. Uh, Malik even have a little scar like he had stretched himself, so that's a neat. That's kind of neat to me because she said, "Oh, he got a st stretch on his face," and I thought it really was a stretch, but it's like a baby stretched their face, so he got a little scar on his face, and I don't know if you could see it or not, but um, I don't even know if I could find it now. But he do have a little stretch by his face. Oh, it's by his nose. And I don't know if you could see it or not, but it's by his nose. And he have a little stretch. Like he stretched himself. But we know they can't stretch. We know they can't even move. Now, he started moving. There's going to be something else. I'm going to get rid of him. I can't handle dog being moving. But they don't move. It's something that I enjoy. And... I carried it, carried them in the car. Now, one thing about these babies, you cannot leave them in the car because the policeman will break the car or somebody will break the car because they think that's a real baby. Actually, it does look like a real baby, but you cannot leave it in the car. So, if I go somewhere, I'm going to uh, somewhere or just I just pop them in the car and got a cam, so just drop them in the car. I got the cam wherever I go. So I went to Pizza Hut one time and the lady saw him and she said, that was real. Right. And it was in the front seat and you knew it wasn't real because a baby like that not supposed to be in the front seat. But she asked, can I hold him? Right through the window. So I let her hold my baby and she was like, oh my God, I cannot believe this is a doll baby. It actually is a doll baby, but it looks like a baby. And you know, sometimes mothers have babies and their babies, uh, uh, they really don't have them. They, um, what do you call it? They lose their babies or whatever. And, you know, I don't know if it will comfort them or not, but it might will. And you can get all types of babies out there. They can make them. And that is just so wonderful for someone to sit there and make a baby like you want it. And that's what I did with my Lee and my Kelly. Dogberry. That's what their names are. So, I hope you enjoy me bringing them on. There'll be a lot of more um, new stuff I will be bringing on and showing you and um, and let you know uh, what I'm doing on this channel. So, stay up here with me. Just sit back and look at me. <laughs> and just, I just want you to live, laugh. And be happy. Till next time. Love you.